Yo, how's it going everybody? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going to be talking about how to set up and use React Native Flash List in React Native. And this library is really, really cool because it takes all of the uh, monotony of using Recycler or List View and its complexity and allows you to be able to use it really easily. And uh, this is what we're going to be building right here is we're going to be triggering an API um, to give some NBA player names and it renders each name incredibly fast and that's the entire purpose of the library is to render your items incredibly fast so let's go ahead and get started alrighty so for the purposes of this video I'm gonna assume that you already have a React app made if you don't have one made just go ahead and make one and for the proceeding of this tutorial I'm going to be working in the iOS simulator but it's gonna work for both iOS and Android so since I have a plain React app made, not using Expo, I'm going to do npm install at Shopify slash flash, flash list. If I was using Expo, I would do Expo install, same thing, at Shopify slash flash list. All right, so the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to cd into my iOS folder, and then I'm going to run pod install. All right, so at the top of my file right here, I'm going to import flash list. So I'll do import flash list from Shopify slash flash list. And then after that, I'm going to do import use effect and use state. This is going to be for um, calling our API eventually. And so inside of my export default app or wherever you want to set it, um, I'm going to just create a simple use state variable. So I'll do const players and set players is equal to use state as an array block, and that's pretty much all we need. And then after that, I'm going to just call the API. We're going to be using the bald online API, and we're going to request about 100 results. And so this is what that looks like. I'm creating a use effect with an empty array block. It's going to be triggering a fetch request to this URL right here called baldonline.io slash API slash v1 slash players. This is going to get us all the players available and it's going to bypass the initial parameter of giving us only 25 players to give us a maximum of 100. And then after that, it's going to do a dot then and then it's going to do another dot then set our player um, array right here. So it's going to push all of the data from this player's array into this array up into this array. And then if there's an error, we're just going to do a dot catch. Cool. So that concludes that part. Now let's go ahead and actually build our flash list. All right. So here's the ease of flash list and work. In comparative to recycler list view, you would need to create a layout manager and then you need to specify exactly how many columns there are. And then you want to make sure that you render the item in a different component and everything like that. And it gets really big. And this is where Flashlist comes in handy. So I'm going to get rid of this snippet of code. I don't have an empty array block. And I'm going to do flash list with a self-closing brace like so. And inside here, I'm going to give it a few parameters that are mandatory. So I'm going to do data is equal to players. So this players variable right here. And then after that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to render our data. So I'm going to render item is equal to the item Oops, there we go. And inside of this render item, let's do something like, uh, let's do a simple text. And inside of that text, we'll do item dot first underscore name. So what this is going to do is it's going to give us the NBA player's first name and last name. So we'll do first name space, and then I'll do item dot last underscore name. And just so we have some clear distinction between each name, I'm just going to give this a style is equal to margin at 50 there we go and so now if I save it it's going to bug out because I have a small typo whoopsies these are supposed to be curly braces like so there we go and it's still not going to work because it still needs one more prop which is called estimated item size so I'll do estimated item size and we can give it 100 because we know exactly it's going to be 100, but we can actually go above. So I can do something like if I wanted 150. So it'll estimate there's going to be about 150 items. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to just refresh my app and then it should work. 
Oh, whoops, I have one extra typo. I accidentally made these curly braces. They should actually be smooth. So it'll look something like this. There we go. And so now we have all the player uh, names displaying and it's fast as, it's fast as frick boy, it's fast as heck. Alrighty, so since this was just a basic setup on how to use this library, uh, I'm not going to be covering any of the fundamental key points of like, let's say how to calculate item size or how to use it with React Native Reanimated. I think those deserve their own videos because they are a little bit more complicated. And since this is just a basic setup, I'm just going to end it right here. Um, but I would highly recommend going to the documentation. The link to that is in the description down below. Try this out for yourself and go crazy. But if you did enjoy this, be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.